Chapter 21 Physics Theory Video 1 Uniform Electric Fields is uh, our topic. Uh, <coughs> and uh, here we are discussing about electricity, magnetism, and uh, uh, the relationship between the two as well. So now uh, you have learnt. Uh, a lot of things about in de uh, about lightning in detail so you know about how the charge builds uh, builds up uh, then uh, uh, this uh, uh, how it jumps from one charge point to a, another point right uh, so they say you know uh, this there is a lot of energy in this there are about 3 million lightning strikes on earth each day right uh, uh, now the energy uh, energy that is transferred in one of these strikes is 10 megajoules right uh, this this can be this energy in lightning can be harnessed Right? Uh, so in the future we might be able to do that you know it might be the most common form of energy that is being provided uh, so the here we are laying the groundwork for that so now we have learned about like charges and unlike charges and we know about attraction and repulsion so that is uh, that is something that we discussed in static electricity um, static electricity is used in different forms in photocopying what we do is there is uh, the uh, dust or the toner that is a dust it uh, it actually gets transferred to a to an area which is electrically charged and that is heated up and that makes it to stick to that that is how printing is done right then uh, we have experienced electric shocks uh, sometimes when touch uh, when touching an uh, when a, when touching something that has been charged over a, you know edge of a computer or whatever we have got electric electric shocks so this is as a result of a charge the charge when it begins to flow through our body we get a shock right usually ob objects are neutral that is uncharged right but they can become charged due to direct uh, direct charge or by induced charge when uh, due to friction we know that there is a charge that can be developed uh, then uh, we have discussed about positive and negative charges then you know that opposite charges or unlike charges attract while like charges repel uh, then uh, we have learnt about in electrostatic induction that is an, a charged object uh, can attract uncharged objects as well this is electrostatic uh, induction then uh, these things that we see are macroscopic that is the things that we can you know it is in uh, those are the properties uh, they, de they describe the phenomena that we can observe Right, then we have to go into the microscopic details to find truly what is happening in, inside these things. Right, so then uh, if we go to the microscopic model, we know that uh, matter is made up of three types of particles electrons, which are negatively charged, protons, positive, and neutrons, which are neutral then we know that uncharged objects would have similar number of protons and electrons because negative and positive charges would cancel out each other each other then when one material is rubbed against another we know that electrons would leave it is only the electrons on the protons then when whatever that gains electrons will be will have a higher negative charge because the electrons are lost from the other one it would have more positive charges and that is something that you have uh, discussed then if we bring this uh, negative charge close to an uncharged object what happens is uh, we can induce the charge right we can induce the charge uh, 
that is something that we can uh, we have learned so far and i don't think uh, it is anything that is difficult for you but if you do have any questions please raise them um, <laughs> electrons are outside of the atom so that is the reason why they can actually uh, they can leave them because the protons are which, which are in the central nucleus they are held very strongly uh, uh, then uh, <coughs> we know uh, we know about electric fields right so the effect of these electrons actually not only is they are very close to it but is spread down spread, spread around uh, in the space close to it right so this electric field has an effect on the when something is brought into that electric effect electric field the, and a fee, uh, an effect is being felt right sometimes this effect might cause magnetism sometimes it might cause uh, an electrostatic attraction now uh, we need to if, to observe a field uh, we can we can put something that uh, you know that responds to it now for example if you want to figure out magnetic field if you want to observe it we can put some iron dust into that place then it will get arranged in the electric field then uh, in the magnetic field then if you want to observe an electric field what we can do is we can have two uh, a two charged metal plates like this and then when we bring a charged gold foil it will get attracted it will bend and it will get attracted towards the opposite uh, charge and it will bend away from the uh, uh, similarly charged plate right so that is that is an observation that we can make um, here uh, here what we do is another experiment there are two charges and then the particles will get rearranged in that uh, in that form right so that's another way of observing it then we have to move on to the concept of an electric field um, when there is an electric field in a uh, produce as a result of electric charge a force is being experienced right when there is an electric charge there is an electric field and as a result a field of force is produced right now you have we have actually learnt about this field of force now we are going to uh, field of force in relation to magnets then if you place a magnet close to another magnet either it will be repelled or it will be attracted depending on which pole it is going to be right uh, then we have we experience the gravitational field because there is a if you jump up we will be pulled back with a force that is by the gravitational field right <coughs> so this electric field is very much similar to gravitational fields but there are some differences as well then when uh, what we need to understand uh, uh, the details you know the the summary is we have an when we have an electric field that is due to the due to some sort of an electric charge if without an electric charge there wouldn't be an electric field then magnetic fields are created by magnetic materials and um, and these uh, magnetic materials uh, can be magnetized or demagnetized using electricity as well so there is a relationship there then gravitational fields would act on objects with mass right so that is those are the uh, those are the foundations on which this this lesson is based then we use uh, arrows to represent an electric field 
that is something that you have learnt in O levels as well. And this diagram uh, as it is, uh, is something that we have seen in uh, uh, our earlier lessons in O levels as well. Uh, there are three very important shapes, field shapes that we, uh, we identify here. Uh, also remember the magnetic field is always from the positive point to negative charge right a uniform field will have the same strength at all points right uh, so something like this then uh, when you go further away from when in a radial uh, field spreads out in direction every direction and further away you go lesser is going to be the uh, strength of the field right so when there is a point charge and when there is something that is being attracted like in uh, c diagram here it will get attracted towards the opposite charge uh, that is something that you must understand and uh, if you have any questions please raise them and do question number one two three so that we can uh, move on to the other parts uh, after this. Uh, do the questions and then uh, go to the next video to see how the rest of it is described.